I never thought I'd see the day when my favorite comedian would be playing a gay man. It was just such a great experience because it made me so happy. Being gay, I was like, yes. Big yes, work it, honey. Or you could suck his dick. The 2009 independent film, I Love You, Philip Morris. Anytime I see an actor or actress take on a role like this, it really makes me see and respect them a lot more because they're not afraid to take risks. They could make others see them in a new light for the worse, but for me, it makes me respect them a lot more. The film is well directed, acted, and proves once again that Jim Carrey isn't just a comedian. Even though there's always a chance, it could drive some fans away. This just shows how much more a versatile actor he is. And this film also stars Aaron McGregor, who again, is now a really talented actor. This movie is labeled as a uh, romance, and it is, but it focuses more on the tactics of a con man rather than a gay man. There's not to say that's some by the time it's say that romantic scenes are non-existent, there is quite a few. I think they're really well realized and realistic. And um, even though it's done in a comedic way, the chemistry is really well done. This movie I really do love and um, because not only is it a Jim Carrey fan, but it also it's definitely unique amongst his resume. The film starts off very fast paced, um, but then after the first 15 minutes, it does take a drastic turn, then slows down a bit. The film is based on the true story that took place in the early 90s and adapted by the book written by Steve McVictor. I think the film has some pretty good laughs in it, but it's more recognizable for being Jim Carrey's most demanding roles of his career. Alongside Man on the Moon, and some may argue even The Majestic, or Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey is known to be the man of many faces, so it's no surprise that he can embody someone with more color. But it's not just faces that's being stretched, it's someone's asshole. Mmm, yeah. Give me that good good. But this film definitely has a lot of variety from comedy, drama, and some really deep emotional scenes revolving around gay culture. And gives you a personal inside look on prison. You will love I Love You, Philip Morris, and I think it's a film that every Jim Carrey fan should definitely invest in. Hopefully this encourages you to check it out, or at least repay it another visit, because it's definitely worth your time. And I'll see you next time. I'm gonna be a fag! Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.